Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. So, back in Red Matter again today. So last time we came through the portal, after we went through people's crew quarters and uh, learned a little bit more about what's going on here, really. And it's all quite disturbing. All quite disturbing. Uh, let's see if we can open this first of all. I suspect we won't be able to. No. No, we can't. There's another one over here. Let's have a crack at that. We are at the very bottom in the corner there. Oh, I can't even unlock that. Inoperable due to the red substance. Talk to me, computer. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Got to translate it for a second. Welcome to the quantum lab, Comrade Riss. I thought you would have tried to leave this place. You and me both, mister. Remember, this is not a safe place. Thank you. Is that it? Okay, so he was thoroughly unhelpful. Obviously, it's not a safe place. It's covered with red matter. Um, let's move back a little bit. That's a little close. What have we got here? What do we have here? Map of this floor. You're in the lab entry hall. Here? Oh, that's, that's going to be the you are here thing, isn't it? Yeah, so we are here. Against this wall. So that's where we came in. We cannot go in there. There's a room down there we can go in. That's the one which is inoperable. So quite how we're going to get in there, I'm not sure. And that's the main one, I guess, we're going for. The quantum lab. What is this other one, which is not cut off, but the door is inaccessible? Oh, is that the other way? Yeah, no, that's the cut off one. That's the that's that one. Yes, yes, I am confident about that. Okay. Well, let's go in this one over here then. Might be a little short on time today. I am a, not away. I'm out tomorrow, having a few drinks. Tomorrow being Friday. Yeah. hell was that um so yes yeah, so i had to record a couple of videos so i have none in the bank and i'm also supposed to be playing games i'm going to try the black the black wake try black wake tonight with a couple of friends now uh, the quantum entanglement experiments press on we are very close to achieving something important well you achieved something i will give you that the yeah, black wake some sort of multiplayer ship piratey sort of game so yeah i'm quite excited about that a friend played it a little bit the other day and said it was a lot of fun Ooh, oh oh Take me somewhere. Take me, Red Astronaut. Okay. Okay, that lasted a little longer than normal, didn't it? I wonder why that was. Is that a security code? It is indeed. Weirdly, that's exactly what we needed. What does this say? At the end of the game, both Pawn and King return to the same box. So we should now be able to get into the Quantum Lab. And see what exciting things await us in there. When I say exciting, I mean creepy. Access the quantum lab. Connect quantum booths. Ah, excellent. We're getting close, Epsilon. Very close. Well, that's one of the booths. Guess we're not getting out of there anytime soon. A booth that is strangely man shaped. Why would you want a quantum entanglement for you to make in a teleporter that's why stupid question pretty sure a pigeon just flew through my window uh, through past my window not through it 
make such weird little sounds that it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Teleportation and mental link hypothesis. Teleportation, I guess. I'm not sure what the mental link means. You creating clones with the same memory? Or same mind, not same memory? Where's the other booth? There's the other booth. Why is the other booth closed? Do I have to get in the other one? What's that? Comrade Sasha, I have approved the power increase for the lab given the importance of your work. Nikolai. What do we have? What's over here? Quantum lab. Newspaper cutout. Photogra photography of Sasha and Stas. Sasha's face is blurred out. She was the one that was blurred out in the picture then. The whole team. Currently, there is sufficient power to proceed with teleportation. Comrade. What's this? Missing thing. Oh, these things. No? Or do you have to charge them up in this first? Yes, okay. Well, that was easy enough. Then it immediately goes again, though. What does this say? Insert charged battery. I thought I did. Come on, there you go. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. That's the further it gets from it, isn't it? Yeah, let's just put one in and get it charging. And then we'll go... We'll go experiment, but those aren't going to work until we get a charged battery in there, are we? So why are they discharging so fast? And what does this do? Laser! Everyone likes laser beams. But it does nothing at all. Hmm. So the cable that goes up here... So I need to hit the laser, that laser up here, I think, to get whatever this does. So there's nothing there. Nothing there. So I think I need to get that laser working and point it at these different receivers. And I can't get that one, this one working until I get that stuff at the bottom working. So I have to figure out what to do with the batteries, I guess. Yes, yes, those are the documents we're after, Epsilon. Oh, I can't turn my hand through the glass, that doesn't work. So I need to turn the teleporters on and then use them, which is clearly a terrible idea. Tina says that's what's caused everything to go to pot. I'm going to try standing in it just to see if anything happens. Nope. 
Hmm. Don't mind him very well. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. The only thing we can affect is this. Handle slowly. That, that's the problem. Okay. Always read everything that's around you. Lesson learned. For now, at least. Okay. Okay. I enjoyed doing them both at once. That was fun. So now, yeah, now that one up there is where I can look. So let's go up there. I guess we need to figure out... There must be a specific order you need to do these in or something to make it work, right? I'm guessing those red things up there don't do anything. No. Ah, that one does though. Okay. Okay. What? A uh, dot plus? How can I do a plus? Ah. And then... Oh. Leave that one there. Well, it's not that. And it's not that. Ah, that one could be... No, it couldn't be that. And that couldn't be that. Ah, oh, that could... No, that couldn't... That wouldn't work. I'm very confused. Very confused. Oh, because the input... is the dot plus, and it needs to go to that. Right. <clears throat> so it needs to be a dot with a horizontal stripe like that, which is fine. Yep, and then that's right, just about. But this isn't right, so let's move <clears throat> that out of the way. 
So we need a red plus on this side. And on this side, we need a yellow minus sign. So it couldn't be that. It couldn't be that, I don't think. Now that might work. If we do that, it works. Okay. Getting somewhere now. So this one, let's move these out of the way. Input wise is a dot with a horizontal line. So it could be that, and that could be that. That works. And that works. Okay. And this one is that. This one doesn't. No, that's not going to work then. Okay. So if it's not the dot, this has to be that. Which means that does that. And that does that. Okay, getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. Um, I'm going to do the other side first. So, the output needs to be a parable vertical. Input is a green dot horizontal. So let's do our same tactics. Move both of those out of the way. So that would work if we did that and that. So that's sorted. Move those out of the way. That just needs to be a blue dot, so it'd be that. And that's just a purple. Oh, that's wrong, isn't it? No, this other way round. Like that. So, what does that one point at? That one points over there. That's got power of the one that's inside. Right. Oh. We are getting somewhere now. We are cooking with lasers. Ooh, a bit high, just a little bit. So that's the one inside power, which still concerns me that it's closed, but there we go. And now we'll do this last one. Come on. Bit more, bit more. Right, so. Input is dark blue dot vertical. So that would work. And that would work. If we do that. And that. This one. Nope. That would work. If we do that. And that. Ooh. Now it has saved the game there. I said it needed to be shorter and this is about the right length it needs to be, but I do want to go in there and press the button first. We'll see if it saves it afterwards as well, shall we? If I go a few minutes without it um, saving. We might have to call it and come back to it. 
This is not going to be good for us, is it? Hello? Hello, man? Nikolai? Nikolai? Hey, Nikolai. Shh, Nikolai. No, Nikolai. No. I went better than I expected. Okay. Now scan them quickly. What do you expect is going to happen? Why were the lasers off? I was expecting something, and that still freaked me right out. My mind's open. My mind's open. My mind's open. It's all good. Mmm. Claw. Do you want me to go? Shall I? Do you want me to? Okay. It's got to be Nikolai in there, right? Maybe you should actually point. Maybe that would help. I wonder if paying attention to the pawn's movements help at all. If that gives you any, uh, any information. Sasha. Of course, I'm following Sasha's footsteps now, aren't they? They escaped. Who's this? Sasha and... Nikolai and Olga escaped. We're inside the orb. That red orb that's the creature's eye that we saw through the last disc... We're inside it. Just clicked that. Left behind, then the others came. Cosmonaut carved in wood. Why is there a cosmonaut carved in wood? Keep the secret. Don't listen to him. An eye that appears to stare at you. Looks like an image from a briefing. How did they get a briefing on this creepy dude? You are a pawn. Ah, those lines are new. What the hell is this? Oh, there's brains. Image of a brain. Satellite uplink. Transmitting the brain. Damn it, I lost contact again. Did you now? Epsilon? Quickly, you have the documents, right? Get out of there ASAP now. I mean, if it is that easy. There's a lot of interference down there. Get back to the elevator stat. I guess that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Get up to comms and beam us the documents from there. Quickly. It's not a good sign, right? No, probably not a good sign that all of the red matter is slowly expanding and chasing me down. How late am I? 25 minutes. I do need to stop. Save the game. It is hurting me, isn't it? Which is very concerning. Okay. 
Hmm. What is going on in this game? The expanding ball seems to have disappeared. So we should be back at the elevator now. Well, this is the elevator. We're going back to that. We need to find a comms cabinet. Probably we're going to find a comms, comms cabinet, comms unit. I'll travel into the top floor comms room. Well, that's helpful. It is a long access to different floors that we're going through. Let's see what the beeping is. Don't be scary, don't be scary, don't be scary, don't be scary. All right, cool. All right then, well. A little later than I intended. Only 26 minutes, that's, that's not so bad, I guess, is it? So I'm gonna leave that there then. So we did the laser puzzle, we escaped up to the comms room. Now I need to try and transmit our findings back to home base. And see uh, see what freaky things happen, I guess. Awesome. Now send us those so as always, I hope you've enjoyed this latest part of Red Matter. If you have enjoyed it, please do click the like button, genuinely appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget, we stream Wednesdays at 6pm, so come along and say hello there. We're streaming Kingdom Come Deliverance, so it'd be great if you come along and say hello and give us a helping hand with that. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Red Matter, and as always, of course, thank you very, very much for joining me.